If you want to cut down many trees, sharpen your axe to be very sharp. Blue Origin has been grinding that axe for over a decade, but in the end, will their axe make Jeff Bezos shine, or is it still a useless axe? Can you guess what I'm talking about here? Yes, that is the legendary BE-4 rocket engine, which has been in development for many years, but still has no results, even causing delays in other missions. Not only that, but it was also knocked out of the rocket engine track by its longtime rival, SpaceX's Raptor. That's over for BE-4. Find out everything in this episode of Alpha Tech. Recently, a move by Blue Origin has reignited competition with SpaceX, signaling an intense future ahead. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin proudly showcased its new moon lander while SpaceX ramped up final testing activities before launching the Starship rocket in Boca Chica. SpaceX and Blue Origin went head-to-head -head for the first contract that SpaceX won, much to Blue Origin's chagrin. Following the SpaceX win and a lengthy court process that saw SpaceX and NASA win, the space agency awarded Blue Origin with a second lunar lander contract as part of its effort to build redundancy into the Artemis program. Well, things seem to be getting interesting. I'm curious to see where the battle between the tortoise and the hare will go. However, honestly, I feel more concerned for Blue Origin than reassured. Why do I say that? It seems like all of Blue Origin's efforts are indisputable, but internally, in their production and product development, there seem to be a lot of issues. And when it comes to comparing or competing with SpaceX, Jeff's Blue Origin falls far behind. What SpaceX has done is a reality that has occurred that many others consider frivolous. They're making money and getting important NASA contracts, setting up a worldwide high-speed internet system. It's a very serious business. In contrast, the company hasn't made a penny with suborbital launches, and it's doubtful that their celebrities to the edge of space for four minutes thing is making a profit. If they actually manage to finish a fully reusable New Glenn rocket and get it to orbit, then suddenly they'll look just as serious as SpaceX. Furthermore, his other company, Amazon.com, is also working towards having an orbital high-speed internet system, and therefore, Blue Origin has a larger customer for their facilities, if they can reach orbit. However, since Blue Origin's very secretive about their project, we really don't know whether they're close to getting it working or five years away. It's not like SpaceX, where there are hundreds of rocket enthusiasts watching every move at Boca Chica, and with Elon Musk tweeting every step of progress. One data point we do have is the BE-4 rocket engine. This is Blue Origin's answer to SpaceX's Raptor. The BE-4 engine isn't doing well. Indeed, right from the early days of its introduction, BE-4 has consistently faced delays in delivering the engine to the ULA company. Since Vulcan is key to many NASA and U.S. military missions, this is very damaging to all involved. The CEO of United Launch Alliance, Tori Bruno, recently unveiled a Christmas gift for their new Vulcan that will launch off the ground in late 2023. This indicates that the BE-4 engines for Vulcan's inaugural mission have finally been delivered by Blue Origin on schedule. However, when it comes to the timely delivery track record of this company, we're not entirely sure if they can guarantee no further delays in the future. Even Tori Bruno has had his share of size about this. I plan on them being about a year late, and I had accommodations for them being two years late, he said, and it's been more like three years late. After delivering its first engines to ULA in late 2022, Blue Origin has now moved to the production phase of engine making, with plans to ramp up over the coming years, Bruno said. Ultimately, Bruno wants Blue Origin to deliver one BE-4 a week, but at the moment, he says the company is averaging one BE-4 every month. Bruno said he spoke to Bezos earlier this month about the company's production. Alongside the time delays, we can't overlook the technical issues that have yet to be addressed by Blue Origin. The explosion in June of a BE-4 engine brought a lot of criticism and a lot of ink from the press. It's the primary reason for concerns about the company's ability to deliver a reliable product. While there's no widely released video footage, the harm is significant. Yes, we can say that in the realm of rocket engine testing, occasional explosions are expected and even beneficial for understanding hardware limitations. Elon Musk openly acknowledged SpaceX's Raptor engine explosions during development, signaling challenges in the process. However, for Jeff, this is a serious issue. 
Vulcan is about to take flight, and up to now, we still don't have an exact reason for the explosion that occurred mid-year engine. Is this just a game of chance? Let's hope not. If the product's already sold to a customer, conducting intentional stress tests leading to failure seems counterintuitive for Blue Origin. One would assume the test aimed to confirm the engine's compliance with specifications before development, which evidently it did not. The issue might stem from a fundamental flaw affecting the BE-4's architecture or poor workmanship in assembling this particular engine. While fixing a production line error is more straightforward than addressing a design flaw, neither scenario is favorable, and the complete story remains unclear. The primary challenge for Blue Origin is that the BE-4, designed as a medium-performing version of a high-performance architecture, unexpectedly failed at standard operating specifications. Blue Origin justifies the BE-4's lower combustion chamber pressure, 1940 PSI, compared to SpaceX's Raptor, 4400 PSI for Raptor 2, 5100 PSI for Raptor 3, as a deliberate choice to minimize development risks while meeting performance and reusability goals. However, the engine's failures during the standard pre-flight certification tests seem contradictory to Blue Origin's design philosophy. Anyway. The power and capability of the BE-4 will be publicly revealed in the first launch of the Vulcan rocket. If successful, it'll be a bright spot to be able to compete with SpaceX's Raptor, and if BE-4 doesn't work, then it's a huge red flag for Bezos. ULA's Vulcan and Blue Origin's new Glenn will be grounded until it does. Not only is this issue with the BE-4 engine unclear, but Blue Origin seems to be adding more new projects that seem to make them lose focus on achieving orbit first. On October 16th, Blue Origin officially announced plans to develop an orbital transfer vehicle. While not intentionally downplaying this plan, many perceive Blue Ring as another seemingly novel research project, especially when they boast that the first stage of the rocket, the second stage of the rocket, the lunar lander, and the space tug all use different engines, particularly when none of these engines are currently in production and the production rate of the BE-4 is lagging behind Vulcan, not to mention New Glenn. Furthermore, there's still no information on when New Glenn can achieve its first orbital leaps. Even if Blue Origin succeeds in this plan, it cannot avoid a competitive market in both orbital transportation and launch vehicles that have more technical advantages and are more cost-effective than theirs. Some companies are looking beyond LEO, like Quantum Space, a company developing vehicles to transport payloads into geostationary orbit in cislunar space. In summary, the future of Blue Origin hinges on its engine, the BE-4. It's not just a crucial component for themselves, but also plays a vital role in the entire spaceflight industry. However, true to Blue Origin's distinctive style, the BE-4 still grapples with some issues and uncertainties, which is not surprising coming from a space company that has yet to truly launch its products into space. Despite that, the BE-4 is sure to create an intriguing story to follow in December and beyond. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.